touchdown. Complete for four yards to Hockeyus. And we've been waiting. We we were stalling these past two games, and Coach Eagle, our offensive coordinator, he came up to us and was like, "Can we put up more than 30 today?" And then we responded, "That's what we did. It means the world." Um, well, it's crazy. We, we strive off momentum, we strive off energy, and I feel like all the guys were really fired up, and we took it as a challenge to stop 34. We knew if we stopped 34, we had a chance, and we made them throw the ball around, and we got them out of their game. Their game's power run with 34, get them in space and let them make plays, and, you know, we contained him somewhat. So, you know, that helped a lot, and, you know, coaches put in a great game plan, and, you know, it worked out well. Look at the scoreboard. I mean, when you see 44 warming up, you, you know he's special, but then when you can see him run and do that stiff arm, I said, oh, he's going to get caught, he's going to get caught, and I saw a stiff arm, I just turned and walked around, just shaking my head. Uh, he's a big boy, he's a good kid to have on the team, and he works hard. I mean, he's a bulldozer, I mean, I wouldn't want to tackle him, obviously. Oh, that was crazy, that was a momentum, uh, that was a momentum swinger. Um, they were starting to get a little momentum back, but that just killed it 100%. I mean, look, this is this is certainly going to sting, and it's going to sting for a while. But I'm proud. I'm proud of this team, especially this senior class. Um, the last three years, this group of kids has helped put this program on the map and, and establish a standard um, for the way we want things done. And, and they bought into everything, and I'm forever indebted to them for that. Um, there was never a point this year where they gave up um, no matter how hard adversity struck and they just kept fighting even today you know we didn't play our best game today by any means but it didn't stop us from fighting and, and, I'm, and I'm I'm just so proud of those guys for for everything they've put into this program Uh, he just goes out and takes care of business. Um, he just started playing quarterback two years ago. Uh, all, all the way through youth, he was a receiver. Uh, he didn't start playing defense this year until some of the bigger games, and then he excelled. Hopefully, there's some college programs watching, and they want to have Kevin Dunn on their roster. It's just, it's so easy for me. I mean, I had five touchdowns, but I have so many kids to pass to a great offensive line, so it's pretty easy. Done. Yeah, uh, if they choose to, uh, you know, double team someone, lock, take away four out of our five guys, that fifth guy will always be open. Someone's always there to make a play, and it showed today. A couple guys running down the street, running down the field, Zach streaking down. Um, it was great. I mean, so many weapons. Our defensive coaches always say they don't know how they would scheme for us, so uh, it kind of plays into our favor when that happens. When you're when you're in the youth level, just watching watching the high school games, this is the kind of stuff you dream of, and uh, it's just I really can't put it into words going to a state championship in a high school football game. It's it's beyond words. Um, well, it's awesome. You know, it's a big football town in Berlin. You know, each year they're like, "How's it gonna be? How are you guys gonna be? You met being gonna back the championship?" And we're like, "Yeah, this is a special group of guys." And so the town's really coming together. You know. You know, I mean, it's just a, it's a really good football town and a lot of support from our fans. So you saw the amount of fans here tonight on a Monday night away game. So we expect a big crowd at Veterans Stadium, and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, they're very good. Very good program, well-coached program. Uh, athletes at a lot of positions, a Division One quarterback. Um, I'd like to say we're, we're just happy to be here, but we're going into that game to win. Uh, we know they're good, 
we still have our best game ahead of us. If we can play like we did against Bloomfield, um, who, in my opinion, is probably going to win a state championship on Saturday, too, uh, uh, we got a good shot.